Welcome back to part two. So let's go ahead and pop this out and see what it looks like. Um, right here in the about page, it looks pretty similar to what our goal is. This one has a black circle and a little underlining here. So let's create a um, CSS custom CSS page in our index.ejs file. We'll go here and type in link and then we're going to create a custom CSS in our CSS directory, um, custom.css. We'll save that. We do already, I've already created the folder, the CSS folder in our custom CSS. Um, and here is what the CSS is going to look like. If you remember the about image right here, which is our uh, picture here, um, is, has an idea of an about image. So we're going to create a border style of solid black and five pixels. That's how we get the black outline around the image. Also, um, in the about file, we're targeting the ID about in the header two here. So this line of text uh, with this selector, and we're saying put a border on the bottom of two pixels solid black, which is what will give us this black line underneath my name is Brenna Relling. And finally, we're going to indent all of our paragraphs by a little bit so it just looks a little bit nicer. So we're gonna create three social buttons at the bottom, a Facebook, a Twitter, and a YouTube uh, button. To do that, we're gonna use Font Awesome, which is a pretty used library uh, that allows us to have all kinds of different fonts, including uh, brand name fonts for Facebook and all that kind of stuff. So we can go ahead and go to fontawesome.github.io. You go to see it or get started and you can copy their CDN, which is a direct link to their CSS file. We'll go to our index.ejs file and right below our custom CSS, we'll just paste that there and save it. Okay, we're gonna create a new row here, div row, and that gives us 12 columns to work with. We have three buttons, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. We're gonna center those in the middle of the page by declaring that each one of those buttons takes up two spaces, two columns a piece. So that's six total columns. If we offset the first one by three, so there's three empty columns, then there's six columns, that leaves us three left on the right. So there's three on each side and centers our buttons. So we're gonna create a new uh, column here. We're gonna div column MD two for the button and then column MD offset three for the offset. And now we have a uh, place for our button. Now what we can do is create a new one, div um, column MD two, and that will be the next button. And then div column MD two, and that will be our third button. So now let's create a button in each one of these. So it's gonna be a link button. So it's gonna be a button, um, button info, and button block. And then we'll tab that there. We'll copy this one, and we'll paste it here and here, except this one is gonna be button primary, and I'll show you what each one of these does here in a second. It's just basically changing the color and danger. Um, so this one will be youtube.com. This will be facebook.com. And this one will be, um, let's see, this one will be twitter.com. Save that. So to create our icons inside of our buttons, we're gonna use I. Um, the classes are FA, font awesome, and then FA, um, whatever we're using, so Twitter, and then FA5X, and that will give us our icon there. Now if we copy this and we paste it down here, we can change this to Facebook, and then same deal, we can change this to YouTube, We can save that. Let's go ahead and refresh our page, pop it out rather, go here, and now we have three buttons. Like I was saying, uh, the info, the primary, and the danger is the background of the button. So info looks like this uh, light blue, primary is a dark blue, and danger is a red. 
So check this out. Since we use Bootstrap Grid System, and I was talking to you about it, we've used medium columns the entire way. When it hits the breakpoint from medium, and say we're looking on a tablet, it's going to change the layout to our website. So now our image is at the top. Our about section is below that. And then, of course, we have three buttons stacked on top of each other. That is a responsive layout. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys learned something. If you liked it, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. If you got any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and post them below. I'm pretty good about getting back to everybody, and I'll catch you guys next time.